I haven't moisturized yet. Oh, <laughs> he wasn't ready for this. He really wasn't. I haven't shaved. Look at this mug. Do you want us an acoustic guitar? Maybe. Wake up to T.I. in the morning. Yeah. Wake up to home. I got this salt in my morning. Yeah, that's a good one. What up, it's your boy. We back. We running it back with the nomads. Today I'm playing the Embers of Muat. Today I'm playing the Necrovirus. I'm back with the Empyrean. Today we'll be playing the Titans of Ool. I like to call them UI instead. The Titans of User Interface. It sounds cooler, more tacky. This morning, everyone got here, made everyone pancakes. Yesterday, made everyone cookies. I already started passing the cookies out. I'm trying to sweeten these deals with the pancakes and cookies that I've made. So late game, I have the negotiations that I need to steal the deal. I've got Patrick on my side, Nathan on my other side, and a whole bunch of planets right next to us. Ren and Henry basically got nothing. Nathan hosed both me and Patrick simultaneously during map creation and then tried to sell it like he was like doing us a favor. Patrick, oh, oh. <laughs> he has like zero resources, it's pretty funny. Patrick put a supernova right next to my home system. Kevin put a supernova on the other side of Henry, so the embers are currently sandwiched in supernovas. That's gonna get very dangerous. Necrovirus, uh, everybody hates him. Just because they're a virus that doesn't do technology, can't research technology, has to steal it from other people. So everybody, so you start the game, everybody's afraid, everybody hates you. And you know what? I'm gonna do it a little different. And I think I'm gonna win. He's gonna wanna play diplomatic, but he's gonna have to get aggressive. He has two planets in front of him. I see the necrovirus. I see that they just need somebody who cares. They just need somebody who can empathize. And I'm gonna do that by Going to Mechatol Rex and farming it. I'm gonna just be a farmer. I'm gonna try and get the Mechatol thing and then get out of there because I've got tons of planets around me. I just need to keep Rand from uh, taking them all from me. Uh, if I can, if I can trade her support for the Thrones and then trade my ceasefire with Kevin, so I've got two quasi alliances beside me. But that sounds like a pretty good deal. I'm gonna have to make some deals with Nathan. The um, double crosser, to put it mildly, and Patrick the gentle giant in that he's got that big smile on his face so you don't really even notice when he's pummeling you into the ground. I've got a pretty good plan with Kevin. Uh, we'll see if he holds up. Uh, basically I'm everybody's best friend out here. I'm saying yes to the dress. Hopefully in 50 years people still knows what that means. Both of them are open to a deal, but they want me to make it at the very beginning of round one. And I can do both, but not at the beginning, so somebody's gonna have to wait. I had a great deal with Kevin worked out where he's gonna move in, and I'm gonna take one of his ships, get one of his technologies, I'm gonna give him my faction thing so that he gets um, action cards every time he researches his technology. Most importantly, we're gonna be cool. We're gonna have an alliance. I hope that in making them both wait to make a deal with me, I don't accidentally turn one of them off. I think I'm gonna do Patrick's first. He scares me a little bit more, and I wanna neutralize that super quickly. Rand is thinking she's gonna make a deal with Kevin, so I've got that to worry about if they try to squeeze me. So hopefully my plan is the smarter plan. It is the smarter plan. Let's just hope that everybody, is, or Kevin is in agreement with us. First round, one point on the board. Embers are on the board. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna revel in this good feeling. Ride it all the way until I hit a wall because somebody betrayed me, but we'll save that idea for later. Other people didn't get publics that round, which is really crazy. They should have. I don't have any points on the board, but 
I think I should get some of this round. Patrick and Nathan are sitting next to Kevin. I was able to exchange ceasefires with Nathan. I was able to get an alliance deal with Patrick. Kevin and I fought, uh, but it was on purpose. We had a great deal, uh, just the best deal. He's super cool. Kevin and I, awesome. We have an alliance. Um, things are going great in our corner of the galaxy. Not too many deals coming my way because people want to hose me and get me out of the game as soon as possible. I gave Nathan my ceasefire in exchange for his support for the throne. I hope he's not planning anything fishy, but so far so good. She, I feel like, got the better end of that, but it opens them up to a one-way attack situation. Patrick is definitely going for Makatala. He sees that he has aggression, well, not really aggression, but no resources to really garner without betraying one of his neighbors. I got warfare. I am perfectly positioned to take the Katol Rex and start farming. Just start hanging out and farming and having a good time. I picked a low number on purpose and I have gravity drive so I can move my my flagship into Mechatol, get that point, get out of there, let them fight out. I don't fucking need it. Border up because uh, that's what my faction does. My flagship can just ping, 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 ping. It's all over the map. Rain, what you got there? Uh, so I got a relic first round. Ran got a relic round one, which is insane. She got the crown of Amphidia, which is a good one and handy for her race because now she's just exploring everything, getting those little tokens and stuff. I took Tex so that I could get anti-mass deflectors and explore some more frontier tokens because that's what the Empyrean do. My only real concern is Henry. He's got a war son right there. So if he moves two spots, pop, pop, he's in my home system. So I've got to put some defense on. So far, my plan of exchanging sweets for deals has resulted in even fewer deals. Wait, I need a prop. I need a prop. Mm. That was a good round for the Empyrean. I'm in first place. I scored two points, three points, two points? Two points last turn. That helped a lot. Three points. Two points? We'll see. You guys do the math. The latest objective that was revealed was to have ships in systems that don't have planets, and that's what I was doing anyway, so I am well on my way to scoring that one. Good news. Got my guitar bags. Nice. Uh, had to make a bad deal with Nathan to get it, but let's be honest. 90% of deals with Nathan are bad deals. Uh, man, that guy really takes you, takes you every, every, he just really uh, squeezes for everything he can get. Yum, 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 mechatol scum. I gave him my support for the throne. Um, he then got a relic uh, because he traded his alliance to Henry. He got the Shard of Thrones, which might work out against him because now there's a target on his home system. If anybody can take it, they get a point, which is pretty saucy. A little hot pot going over there. I'm not worried about scoring points at this point. I am just trying to not get on anyone's bad side. Wait. Triple defenses, choose one planet, destroy each PDS on that planet. Patrick's home system. Uh, does it say non-home system? Or does it say it any, says any planet? Cool, sabotage. Oh, all right. Sabotage! Patrick and Rand are not feeling each other this game. Definitely gonna go after Rand. She's uh, going after me. Kinda my fault though, because I did throw a lot of shade her way. I've more or less been doing what I've been doing the previous round, strengthening ties with Nathan and Patrick, because at this point, I'm still making things, I'm still uh, setting the basis for what I'm gonna do in the future, so I can't have them go against me quite yet. And I think that's gonna work, because all the antagonism has not been in my direction. 
Kevin took Imperial, so I won't get a point from having my Control Rex, but that should be okay. Uh, I can get it next round, hopefully. In the meantime, just beef up. My goal in picking Imperial at the very beginning is to score the six planet public objective. I'll probably put a target on my back, but hopefully by the end of this round, I'll be a lot more intimidating than I am now. So here's to becoming more intimidating. That's the plan. Hold my Tall Rex, do a couple of little fights so I can get some text, and uh, just keep farming. No one likes making deals with me, even when I'm not in the lead, so it's just me. It's just me and the cookies against the world this game, honestly. I just had a very good round in that I scored not one, but two victory points. Which for most people is average, but for me it's good. Things are looking okay, people are catching up to me. So next round I think I'm gonna be in the lead by far. And me and Rand have a deal where we're gonna trade our planets for her empty space. That way. I can get the point for having two in the anomaly and get that point. The crown of Amphidia paid off because I did end up using it to explore and find the tomb of Amphidia. Purged this, got an extra point. Still have Mictal Rex, so that's good. I took Imperial. I actually went back on a loose agreement I had with Patrick to not pick Imperial, but I think someone else would have picked it before him anyway. Rand betrayed me. Uh, we had an agreement that she wouldn't take Imperial, and uh, she I upheld my end of the bargain, um, but she didn't, and she took Imperial right from under me, so I don't get the point. I'm in dead last. It is looking rough out there. I have multiple points to score. I had no choice. I'm the speaker. I've been the speaker since the beginning of the game because no one has picked politics yet. Uh, those trade goods are racking up on politics. I mean, if he wanted Imperial so bad, he should have made himself the speaker. I'm gonna be able to choose who the speaker is next round, so I can choose me, which is good. Patrick, I don't have to worry about, because he doesn't have as much, but Nathan, Nathan's up there. If I could find a way, I'm not sure how to do this yet, to force Nathan and Rand against each other, since they're the leaders, that might buy me some time to figure out a way to get more points. Me and Rand are still amicable, but she could turn on me at any minute. The only thing I have from her is her ceasefire, and she has my support for the throne, so I think that was actually probably the best thing I could have done was give her my support for the throne. She is a lot more scared about losing a point than she is about getting her turn blocked. Nathan and Rand are running away with it. Rand's backstabbing me. It's hard out there for a farmer. I'm just trying to be a cool farmer, and everybody's making that difficult. I could go after Mechatol, but I don't think I'd really gain anything. I'm not really playing a Mechatol game. Henry almost attacked me, but then reminded him that I'll get his technology, which includes an upgrade war sub. The deterrence worked. I could also go after Nathan, because he's in the lead. He's come to me a bunch in the past. Just, oh God, Henry, he's asking Rand for help. I don't know why, he always does this. Rand, come save me. Everybody, attack Rand. Everybody, play the police. I'm always the police. I'm trying to retire from the force. Uh, I'm trying to run for mayor. Mayor of Mayor of Value Town, Mayor of Victory Point. Uh, I approve this message. Making Nathan salty would be fun. So, I could always just move into a system next to his home system. No Seed. Warfare and attack his home system. That would be pretty funny. And he would be incredulous and insist he doesn't know why. Um, which is what he does if 
anyone does anything that's not exactly what he wants them to do. I still have my secret objective, which is to get uh, four planets that each have a, uh, a mech, which is good for me. It's good for my, my faction. It's good for my nomad tribe. Most of these objectives I don't have a way to score because I need more planets and I don't want to get more planets because that would make it more threatening. And also just like, I'm not in a good position to do that right now because I got off to kind of a late start. I did unlock my hero and I got to geoform my home planet. So now with the uh, technology I unlocked of an increased space dock, I can produce up to 11 units on that planet and I plan to use it for all it's worth. Brand's an issue, um, gonna have to attack her, get some of her technologies, which includes the War Sun, which is nice. I have multiple public objectives on lock, and I have at least a secret objective on lock. So I am feeling good about the game. Time to bring the fire. This is not the most ideal situation. So we're all tied for first basically uh, with Patrick and dead last and then with Kevin uh, in a close second. He's got the major fleet. He could fuck me up if he really wanted to. I'm hoping he doesn't betray me. So I made a deal with Nathan. He was supposed to evacuate a system, but he left behind a couple of units so that I would have to give him back his support for the throne. Ran loses a point. I roll three dice. Ouch. They go to war. Two hits. At least I don't have that to lose now, and all bets are off with my ally Nathan. I finally got Imperial um, and my Katal Rex. I got the two pieces and I'm gonna put them together. I'm worried that Kevin's gonna swoop in because he's got a big huge fleet right next to my Katal Rex. Patrick's got me boxed in to the left and the person who my alliance is strongest with, Nathan, he's the leader. So what do I do? He's working out a deal right now with Henry to take out Patrick. Ooh, doing my boy dirty. Already in last, just getting, getting the goots. Uh, so it worked out for me. I mean, I feel for him. I feel for him, and I did extort him a little bit in the beginning. But he's had Mechatol for long enough. I feel like somebody else can have it, and as long as they're fighting that way, they're not looking at me. No way took. Uh, Paul takes some of the speaker next round, which is super handy. I can take Imperial again. New objective is have a flagship or war in somebody's home system or Mechatol Rex, which is not good because you don't want to be called out like that. You know, I don't need the cards calling me out like that. Henry moved two of his upgraded war sons between Nathan's home system and Mechatol. The new public objective means he for sure is moving in one of those directions. Henry's got two war sons right next to Mechatol, which is not cool. Luckily, there's nothing blocking them, like there's nothing with them. So they're super vulnerable. I've I've seen two war sons get blown up on Mechatol Rex. I know what that felt like. I think Henry knows that that is a reality that could happen. I'm gonna try and score that either by taking Mechatol from Patrick or as he's offered, parking a ship in his home system. And he's offered it because he's desperate to hang on to Mechatol. <laughs> I would take Mechatol from him, but uh, Kevin is parked with a huge fleet right next door. And I know that he's sitting there thinking that maybe I'll go in so he can just sweep it up and take it for himself. You're bringing two war sons. I gotta, I gotta so, loosen you up. That's um, so fucked up. Oh my you're God. still getting the planet. The only way I will, the only way that I'll be upset right now is if you hose me out of my planet. I'm not. Nathan is so paranoid that I might come for his shit, um, which I might do if it seems to be to my advantage. Yeah. This is my. I hope you don't hose one hose. 
That's so fucked up. If this hoses me. Yeah, I think I think you'll be fine. I have to have all of these. So if you get a hit, I don't get my point. Yeah. So thank God. All right. Sorry. Oh shit. Sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm dead. dead. I'm dead. What she doesn't know won't hurt her. She'll okay. hold. Him. <laughs> what did you do to me? It's Henry's hero that I'm worried about. If he decides to just, you know, if he decides to pull a evil villain, we all know, and then it turns around, and like, well, get wrecked. I'm, I'm kind of hoped. Nathan is trying so desperately to get my ceasefire because he's horrified. A very scared Nathan is uh, always entertaining. Because he's just so, he's just, Nathan is just so paranoid. Like, I was, I literally texted you. Everybody see this text? I said I'd have traded my support for the throne if you wouldn't fuck me up. I've texted everybody. I'm making deals. I'm saying yes to all the dresses. I'm playing baby's gun. I think the easiest thing to do will be to get that two anomaly pu public objective. Because I already have one. I just need another. The two options are... Two things owned by Patrick and one owned by Nathan. Neither are ideal. Worried that Kevin's a sleeper. Kevin's Kevin's been hanging out and cool this whole game. He just made chicken nuggets, which was super cool of him. Uh, but at the same time, he's gonna go for the win. He's gonna do it. He's good at this game, and uh, I'm worried he's gonna get me. You gotta take some people down a peg. Otherwise, you might as well call the game over. Yeah, buddy. Uh, that went so well. The hallmark of a good round is when you score lots of points. In my case, I do the thing where I always do, where the lots of points I score are just two. And other people are leapfrogging over me with points uh, three and four, and it's like, how did you get all of those in one round? I got like five points that round. It was crazy. Patrick pulled a baller move coming from three points up to like seven, eight, I don't know. The, the, the number's right there, look at it. That's the number he has. That's the number he had before, that's the number he has now. What? How? I don't know. I mean, I do know, but oh my god. And uh, I still have Mechatol. I've got a war song on it. Henry lost his war song, so the biggest threat to me is now gone. Well, okay, the biggest threat to me is now Kevin, but he's been pretty cool. It's finally working, you know? You put the seeds in the ground, and you farm, and you have faith, and then they sprout. And that's a beautiful farming thing, which uh, the necrovirus knows, because that's secretly what computer viruses are good at, is farming. <laughs> oh, Nathan's salt is unparalleled. Yep, saw that coming all the way. Hate that. But who didn't see it coming? Not this guy. This guy was waiting. Perfectly waiting for it. Ba damn. Saltier than the sea. Your boy Nathan is. Such garbage. Like it's so unnecessary. What point do you even get for it? <laughs> Can we do this every time? And you wonder why He gets the two pointer. Is it's is literally two points he, actually he this got time. That from you, didn't he? Fucking Henry came after me with two war sons, and and now he's like, what I do? <laughs> uh, wonders why I'm not playing police. Man, that was a big. So he sent both of his war sons to Nathan's home planet, and they were like, look at the drama. Let's fight. Five hits from the war sons. One hit. Good lord. So scum. He took a dollop of scum, he scooped it up, he laid it down like a greasy lunch lady. What can I do? I got lucky. One hit for the cruiser. Damn, I'm dead. I did make a move for his home system just because I thought maybe I could take it and maybe slow it down, but he got too many decent rolls. 
and had an action card I wasn't ready for, so I wasn't able to stop that from happening. As intimidating as war sons are, they don't have that good a track record. Nathan held out because war sons are so fragile. They're just big old glass cannons. Come in here. I tried to take a planet that Henry left for me, and of course, Nathan PDS me to death. You just shot me for taking right. a planet. Um. What am I gonna do now? Swept up. She's already declared she's coming after me. I'm coming after him. Coming after him. She's just she's feeling salty against me because I I PDS one of her ships because uh, she had the secret deal with Henry. The surprise surprise she had a secret deal with Henry. Wow. 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 I had nothing to do with that home system invasion, but right. now I'm coming after have you. Have you ever been allies with Nathan? I kind of want to go after him at this point, because, uh, but I just don't have the resources for it. Henry put his flagship in my home system. We had an agreement, so then he didn't go for Mixed Rex, which is fine. So he got two points, um, and I got two points. Everybody wins. I'm thinking about taking Patrick's home system real quick. Cause I, I feel like he might be snowballing. He's been behind, so he's under the radar, but like he's caught up by now. But I think most of the table is still thinking that Patrick's far behind. He's not, he's not far behind. He is a threat. And if he's able to slide under people's radar, he's even more of a threat. So that's what the Embers are looking out for. Hopefully, Patrick will play technology, meaning I can get the technology to move through systems. I'm going to move through the systems with Patrick in them to knock out Henry's flagship immediately call Imperial and get two objective points for having a flagship in someone else's home system. Let's see if we can do it. Kevin, yeah, whose game is it? Um, I, I don't know. Is there a joke to that question? Hopefully I can set myself up to getting the two-pointer, the B in somebody's home system. Rand is trying to get everybody against me, and I'm hoping that that doesn't work. Getting tense. It's definitely heating up out there herself isn't much of a threat, but she's doing that Henry thing that he's famous for, for telling, hey, everybody else, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, you gotta stop somebody. Meanwhile, Henry's, I think, tied for first. Yes, it's nice to, nice to pause on a simple note. I gave up on my cookies a long time ago. Clean, clean. He doesn't even make eye contact, he's just so focused. Tints on no taking a planet. Mm. I wanna see you savor it. Give me a big sip. Big sexy sip. BSS. <laughs> oh, wow. Yowza. I played a card to steal his Imperial Strategy card, so he won't get points for having a War Sun on Mechatol Rex. Oh, Kevin. We were so cool. We were so cool, Kevin. And then you had to play your thing and switch cards. Why? It's not even going to benefit you. It's like... Oh, I've got one thing, and I'm trying to farm, and then, you know what happens? Kevin comes by, and he kicks all my stupid corn. Just let me have my corn, Kevin. Let me have my Mechatol corn. Gosh! Patrick, don't hate me too much. I'm doing what's best for the both of us, in that I think what's best for me is what's best for everyone. That was a crazy last round. You saw me just, oh, I got my dukes up. Keeping my dukes up, hitting back a little bit. I think it was uh, very unproportional. Uh, check the tape, I'll have to check the tape. Okay, so that round was pretty much a dud. Um, Kevin took Imperial and then didn't score twice. You know, like he scored once for Imperial and then didn't score at the end of the round, so it was like, just messing me up for no reason. But I took Imperial now, so back on track. Second place. It feels kind of good. I think it's not put any heat on me because as second place and with 
a shit ton of ships. Uh, that can be really intimidating. Nobody is super threatening me. Kevin's got his ship in my home system, but that's okay. We talked about it. It's cool. The thing is, Patrick is sliding by right now with the speaker token. Because Kevin really didn't want to take politics and stop Patrick from being the speaker. There's a new two-pointer. It's tough. It's tough to get. I'm not sure anyone will be able to get it. This new objective is going to be super hard to get, so I don't know if anybody's going to get it. I don't know how to achieve these two-point objectives uh, without really risking everything I've got. I only have enough ships to make a fleet big enough to do one big move. If I move into Nathan's space, he's going to retaliate for the rest of the game. Rayan's super on tilt. Um... She's, I think, whatever her plan was is not working. Mechatol is really beefed up right now, but that might be the move I have to make to score points without pissing Nathan off. I don't know who's gonna win, but I know it's definitely not me. It's gonna have to attack Rand. Attack, attack, attack. Uh, crab core, take her home system, get that twofer. I don't see any other points that I'm gonna be eligible for. I am doing fairly well, and I have a chance at take this game so I do not want to get on Nathan's bad side. I just don't know how to score points without doing that. Kevin's talking about really just uh, hammering um, Henry, which would be nice because Henry's in the lead by a fair amount. Gotta watch that guy. Oh, I think I want to go after Henry and just hit him with everything that I have. We'll see how successful that is. I need to get this two-pointer. I need to get the next two-pointer. And that's the game. I guess maybe prevent other people from getting points might be the move. And I have some cards that I've not used yet that might come in handy. I have two diplomacy cards to play this round, an action card and the strategy card. And yeah, just sling relay into another war sun. And <sighs> my fucking fingers are crossed. My fingers are so crossed. Pray for me, please. Here we go, back to form. Back to out there with my plow and my seeds. I'm gonna grow some mechatol potatoes. You all are rooting for me. You're not rooting for anybody else. You're rooting for me, because that's who I'm rooting for. And why would you disagree with me? I'm like, I'm s just look at my face. Look at the smile. Didn't score anything that round. That's the worst. That's the absolute worst. So it looks like I'm in a pretty decent spot to take this game. I mean, a couple of us are kind of in it still, but it's clearly Nathan's game. I need the two-pointer, which I can get this turn, hopefully. Uh, I need a little bit more coin, which I'm not gonna get from Rand. She's probably gonna refill Henry, refill Patrick, but definitely refill Henry. I think Nathan has this one in the bag. He's gotten... Free some free free unwitting support from Kevin basically the whole game. But who knows? Maybe maybe Rand could pull a surprise win like she has done a lot in the past. Rand's big move. Rand's big oh. move. Here we go. All these guys. Those asteroids weren't doing anything. Okay. Okay. Three hits. These are my dreadnoughts. Oh, yeah. I'll keep up with you. So, an eight hit. These are my dreadnoughts and questions. There's one, two, three hits. Three hits. And my fighters, which are two. And. Whoa, two hits on the fighters. <laughs> Shit, seven hits total. Seven. Every uh, single thing I rolled hit. Would you have, yeah. Would you have had Everything hit? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you think you can get better than four? Uh, 
Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna Thundarian. Reroll. Um, okay. Oh, she has to reroll too? Yes. Oh, yes! Thank you! Oh, wow. We're getting seven again. It's not gonna happen. That's messed up. Well, Can you... challenge accepted. Thank you, Nova. I deeply appreciate it. Three hits. hits more, son. She just might get it again. <laughs> One hit. He's trying to come on. Count. Count. What do you need? One hit. Five. Fuck. So, two hits. Two hits. That's the three, so five. I didn't. I took the plunge into Mechatol and I took control of it, so Mechatol is mine. Ran just uh, attacked me and took Mechatol Rex. Um, her ships are way better than mine. You may spend two influence Six, to repair that unit. So I'm ah. gonna repair all four of them. I have to spend eight influence. It took me using my flagship ability a bunch of times and all the action cards. I've been saving up all game. I mean, it was my whole round, really. I got, I got wiped. So it's hers now. So that was it. That was all I had. Um, just cuz? Yeah. Why are you just cuzzing me? Why not just cuz? Just cuz Mechatol. Not cuz you. Fine. I was able to score that two-pointer by taking Mechatol. I don't think I'm ever gonna see Imperial for the rest of the game. She seems pretty happy about it. Oh, Let's okay. fight! Uh, so... Do I have a shot at winning? Honestly, I'm not sure. It depends on where the pieces land this round. I'm not sure how I would be able to scoop the points at this point in the game. I don't know who's gonna win, but it's gonna be neck and neck and pretty cutthroat this round. So yeah, at this point, it's it's Nathan's game to lose, honestly. A lot of the objectives do require invasion of space, so our home systems are gonna get a little crowded. If you could attack Rand, I'd love that. Anyway. I have one thing and you took it, Rand. How do you feel about Nathan right now? If somebody attacked Nathan, would you feel good about it? Yeah. yeah! I took Imperial again, mostly just so Rand doesn't get it, which doesn't do me any good. Um, I should have taken... Taken? Should have taken... Taken three. Liam Neeson. I did pick politics, so I would be in a prime position to pick the first strategy card next time, unless somebody plays some, you know, you know, some wackadoodle card that keeps me from picking my first choice, um, which will probably be eight. Henry fuckled me over. And then Patrick just kind of batted those big puppy dog eyes and also fucked me over. Got a lot of aggression from Kevin in that round through my plans. It's annoying that really the only thing I have to shoot for is the same two point objective that I was denied last round because there aren't any other good options on the board. <laughs> if I'm gonna get that objective, I'll probably have to go back after that system that Henry kicked me out of with his war son and hope for a miracle, because that's all I'll get. And this has just been a game of goofs. Goof uh, Thrones. Goofs.com. Goof, 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 goof. Swoop goofs. into that goofs.com. I know Henry's gonna do his death rattle. Nathan's in the lead, but uh, <laughs> get fucked. Have your flagship or war son in another player's home system. Six for the war sons. One, two, three, four hits. Hot balls. You know what happens? You have a plan, and then somebody knocks your plan over, and then that's it. That's it's picking up the pieces it takes a minute, and I'm in that minute. So we'll see if I can put this Humpty Dumpty back together again. <sighs> Why is life pain? We'll find out next round. From the agenda, we're starting with our planets all exhausted. So this is probably gonna be a pretty dud round. We start the round with all of our planets exhausted because people vote irrationally on all sorts of things, and this is one of them. Because nobody picked one, we're all kind of like really having to do the math on this one. And hopefully they are so fatigued out that they can't make optimal plays and they, they kind of hand it to me.
I've adopted the speedy position. Had a wild ride, guys. You love it, you see it, you see me getting hated on out there, even though I'm saying yes to all those dresses. Dude, you have to me again. This is three war songs. Count it up. Three war songs in my home system from the guy who doesn't want to attack anybody but me. So, you're, you're in the lead. You're in the lead. You're in the lead. And you're just going to shoot me out of the sky. Of course, because I, I haven't been attacking you or even looking at you, and yet you do this to me. I do this to me. Yeah, I mean, Nathan has it in the bag still. Barring a miracle, this game is over. The end game is upon us, and Jesus fucking Christ, there are so many ways it can go. It can go, one, Nathan wins, or two, we take his home system, and maybe I win with structures? There is only one way for me to win this game, and that is to take Nathan's home system and get the point from his relic. I can score three if I get lucky and do all the right things, um, but three is not enough. I don't know if it's possible. Honestly, it's, I don't, it's, it's really a long shot. Hopefully I don't get knocked down. I, I have to build immediately on my home system or else I'm going to lose it because Rand is just going to send everything at me. Establish a beachhead on one of Nathan's adjacent systems and then have a second assault go in even deeper and full on D-Day his home system. And then it'll probably go meh. It probably won't go the greatest that anything has gone. Hopefully his system will be weak enough that Rand can swoop in and knock him out of control because that's our only hope here. I don't have the movement to get there. Truly the only way it can happen is if I do the secondary of politics and draw flank speed. The odds of that are, I don't know, not good. Nathan got it. Good game, Nathan. Uh, we'll play it out because miracles happen, but uh, yeah, definitely not holding my breath on this one. Yeah, Nathan benefited a lot from Kevin throwing a lot of free shit and free points and no opposition his way, though. Though Nathan will talk about how he uh, really had to fight uh, tooth and nail for that. It was it was handed to him on a silver platter, I'd say. Ooh, baby! Did we pull off? Oh, just miraculous out of miraculous. Literally, it came down to that one faction card. Just like I said last round, it's his game to lose. He's the biggest threat, and I'll do what it takes. And this is the last round no matter what, so... If Nathan ends the round with his home system, he wins. It doesn't matter if anybody else comes up, he is first in initiative order. If he ties for 13 with me and anybody else, he'd be first. It's not game over for me, but... It's definitely not gonna be easy. Why can't things just be easy? That's it for the embers. This is it. This is my TI life. God, Yahweh, Allah, flying spaghetti monster, grant me the strength to do it. Let's fucking win this. It's nine o'clock at night. Do you know where your kids are? If they're a bunch of fucking nerds, they're here getting their butts whipped. Mm, let's go, baby. Did it. For the fans, I do it all for you. Nathan managed to hold on to the win as I predicted a few rounds ago. I guess congratulations, Nathan. Great job, Nathan. We got that victory. I worked so hard. You guys saw it. I was taking hits left and right. Rand, put in the... Uh, Put in like a like a memory thing, you know, like it's in black and white and I'm seeing memories.
got the memory. Dude! He almost played a non-scummy game, but he had his questionable moves for sure. We all tried really hard. We got really far, but in the end, it didn't even matter. No one was able to get additional command tokens, so there were really few moves possible in the last two rounds. I think that really worked out in Nathan's favor. One hit. This is for five fighters. I have five fighters. One hit. One hit. Rand and I threw everything we had at Nathan to keep him from winning. Six hits for me. How many hits did you get? Two. I okay. got two. Okay. Sign the hits now. The dice worked against me, and also he pulled the ceasefire on me. Uh, that's what I get for leaving that out. Perhaps Kevin will learn from his mistakes in giving a lot more to a player than he receives in transactions, but we'll see. If we kept Nathan from scoring again, it would be down to initiative order. That's what we did. It was down to initiative order. He was card number three. I was card number four. By one card, Nathan wins instead of me. It's always just so stressful being neighbors with Nathan. I would have traded with Henry, but he wanted me to give away the bank. You all saw. I, I, I'll, I'll release the text messages. I texted him a good deal. I, I was gonna give him my support and a bunch of other stuff, but he was like, give me way more. It's never a good time. I mean, sometimes it seems like it's gonna be a good time and then, you know, a minute passes and... Nathan does something Nathan. You know, people just like using your reputation that's been totally manufactured. Nathan is a scummy player. This is gonna definitely hurt when I run for office. Somebody's gonna point this out. The titans of user interface are definitely very, very powerful. I almost got Megatol, which if I had, man, there's just like a lot that almost happened. <sighs> Maybe next game. Good games to everyone. Good game, everyone kept the self-hosing to a minimum. Let's try to keep that energy up going forward. Henry fans will have to wait at least one more week to see him get a chance at a win. We did it. Despite the deep strain in me and Nathan's relationship, good game, Nathan. Uh, I hope you enjoy this win, because if I have any say in it, it'll be your last. Watch out, Nathan. Coming for you. What a waste of cookies.